a breeder of giant Australian birds called cassowaries was killed by one of his own flock. Authorities say this rare flightless bird attacked 75-year-old Marvin Ahos as he uh, fell on Friday morning. Cassowaries are known to be the world's most dangerous bird. They are categorized as Class II wildlife by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, along with alligators, wolves, cluttered leopards, and several more. Cassowaries are a large species of flightless birds included in the group known as radites, which are one of two groups within the Paleonathic clade within clade aves. The radite group includes other flightless birds such as ostriches, emus, kiwis, rays, and the extinct moa. The second group within clade Paleonathae contains tinamous, the only birds in this clade capable of flight. Many radites are prone to gigantism with strong legs for running, large claws, powerful kicks, and aggressive personalities. Previously, radites were thought to be a monophyletic clade. However, recent studies indicate their paraphyly with violent tinamous. This paraphyly suggests that the radites may have evolved flightlessness repeatedly, rather than just once. A study published in 2017 by Cynthia Foe and David J. Field tested this hypothesis by conducting an embryonic developmental series of two different radite species that were suspected to have lost flight independently of each other, the emu and the ostrich. For comparison, they also studied one species of tinamu and a species of chicken. The chicken was used as a flighted outgroup in the study, since chickens are part of Neonathae, another clade within aves. The eggs of the test subjects were incubated at Yale University. In each embryo, the bones were stained one specific color while the cartilage another color in order to identify and compare the growing and calcifying components of the skeletons. The study found that volantinamus and chickens had very similar wing growth trajectories as shown on the y-axis with respect to incubation time as shown on the x-axis while the wing growth was similarly delayed in the flightless ostriches and emus. In comparison to the chicken, the relative rates of wing growth were found to be 9% faster for the ostrich, 34% faster for the tinamous, and 64% slower for the emu. For the ostrich, the rate of wing growth relative to the incubation age is within the range of variation for the flighted species, while the emu fell well below the range of the flighted birds. This second graph shows a similar trend when assessing the wing length, y-axis, and the body length, x-axis. In regards to the body length, the ostrich wing growth rate is intermediate between the faster rates of the flighted birds and the slower rate of the emu. The dissimilarities in rates of wing growth and developmental trajectories and the observed species support the hypothesis that flightlessness in ostriches and emus developed independently. This is because a single flight loss event in ancestral radite species would be expected to express similar patterns in wing development. The fact that living radites have been recognized as a paraphyletic group rather than a monophyletic group is an extremely important and recent advancement in the field of ornithology. This study attempted to move beyond just supporting the theory that radites and tinamous are a monophyletic clade together by investigating developmental mechanisms for convergent flight loss in paleonaths, specifically by the observation of embryos. Future advances in understanding radite convergent flight loss depend on the investigation of embryonic developmental sequences in other, less easily obtained radite species. There will also be a need for further investigation of gene expression patterns in radite embryos and observation of fossils in extinct radite species.